Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya, and I'm addicted to jewelry and other things too. <laughs> I came with no rings on this morning because someone had requested yesterday that I show rings. So I do have rings right here. However, I want to do a quick haul because I did go yesterday and I got a few things. Um, I went to a thrift store where I bought the huge Chinese cabinet that I told you guys about in the past. It's eight foot tall. It's beautiful. It was sitting in the middle of their store. And uh, I bought it. I paid up for it, but it's like, uh, it's a $4,000 item. It's amazing. It's incredible. And no, I didn't pay that much. It was at a thrift store, but I did pay a lot more than I would normally pay for anything like that. Um, Anyhow, she said she had been putting me together a jar since I had last seen her, and she offered me this. Um, I did kind of fish through it last night. There's a lot of crafting items. Nothing major worth writing home about. The best piece, I think, in the whole thing is this intaglio right here, and it's pretty awesome. I do like it a lot. Don't look at my nails. <laughs> For those of you who are new here, um, I am an artist. I use my fingers as tools and use them quite a bit. So anyways, isn't that awesome? That's really neat. I, I love that. So that was in here. There's a whole bunch of single earrings. There's some, you know, this is pretty awesome right here because I do need a whole bunch of these teardropped rhinestones and there's some missing there. So this is great for crafting and I will be able to use these um, teardrop rhinestones as well as these other big ones here and the rest is just you know single earrings and no precious metals I did look through it then I went to another one went to a different store and here's what I got there oh and this well, let me just show you this real quick this is pretty awesome so this is this is a leather case it's very nice I do know a little bit about this stuff because I have done my research in the past this is it's metal it's cloisonne it is enameled uh, the cloisonne that they do here they don't use all the harsh lines and everything that uh, that they would normally do when you see jewelry. This is just a piece of art. I have another example of this. Uh, it's a small tray. It's a long, small Asian tray. This is Asian by design. As you can see here, nothing is in English. Um, so the thrift store wouldn't have known how to look this up. Uh, it does say cloisonne wear there. Um, Oh, and it shows, it, it's in English here. I never even opened this process of making cloisonne wear. It's, uh, it's really quite an incredible process. Um, I, like I said, I have a tray. It's about this long. Um, and I looked it up. That one is, you know, 100 to, it could go upwards from there. This tray here, um, I'm not sure. It's a big tray. It's a beautiful tray. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure it holds some value. So I picked it up. It was at the thrift store and I got it. I said yes to that. I also saw this. This is really cool. Another little cool piece of art. I love wood. I love carving. I love anything artistically done. Um, this is, you know, clearly like ivory inlaid into the wood. It's actually painted. At first I thought it was scrimshaw. On there but I looped it that is actually paint brush strokes um, and then they used one type of wood here for the wheel and another type of wheel for the cart um, just a cute little piece of art it was $2 and I said yes to that um, not sure what this was but it was $5 I was like ah, I think I want that hmm what is it? Interesting. Well, I don't know what this does. 
this sits in here. Well, it fits in this hole. It doesn't go, what kind of, I don't know what this is, you guys. I haven't a clue. At first I thought it was a pipe, but it's not open here. And then it has this thing. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone know? I'm, I'm just, I like Asian stuff. This looked like it had some age to me for, actually it was this that made me feel like it had age. Um, just like this cord here. Because I've had a lot of older Asian things and, you know, there's, this cord doesn't look so old. But I, I find things a lot that have a lot of wear and tatter to the, uh, to the cords. That's weird because that's got like a little hole that going through there, like something was attached to that at one time. I don't know what this is, guys, but... For five bucks, it's super heavy too. It's like cast iron or bronze even. It almost looks like it's bronze. I mean, it's got that kind of look to it. Um, and I'm sure that color's not coming across there, but it just looks like old bronze and it's super heavy. Don't know. It's Asian, I like it. This was $4 and I said yes to it as well. Um, He's just super cute little, little Asian guy. Look at his big old domed head. He's got a big old head. And then he's wearing, I mean, you can clearly see this is just a branch, like a branch off of a tree. I just find it incredibly beautiful. He's awesome. Just a hand carved piece. And this is, this is like, you can tell this is really like, uh, there's soft woods and there's hard woods. This is a very hard wood. And wood is not easy to carve. Um, at the same store that I got this jar, uh, the gal that had that for me, um, I saw this on her shelf. And again, just an amazing piece of art, hand carved. This is a depiction of Jesus, I believe, because, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I'm getting. And uh, right here makes me think of thorns on, on his crown going around his head I believe and I just thought it was really really neat and again hand carved piece of wood another branch different store but I love this this is just incredible I love it these will go into my personal collection I love that and at that same store where I got this one uh, the gentleman that does jewelry there, the same gentleman that offered the, uh, I showed you it had all the white and blue sapphires loose in the bag. Um, the 14 karat gold necklace that he, um, he offered me for $5 because it was broken. Um, and I very graciously took that. Um, he said, hey, I do have a little jar back there. It's just a small jar. I mean, it's like, uh, I don't know, it says Merry Christmas. Um, it's just a small jar. You know, it's only a couple inches big. And he wanted $10 for it. He said, I'll go get it for you. And I said, that's awesome. Yeah, because he said he had one if I was interested. And I said, of course I am. Um, I didn't, oh, yeah, I found one pair of earrings there. They're amber. Let me just show you them real quick. I won't show you how much I paid for them. How about that? <laughs> but they're just sweet little, um, it's just little amber earrings and they're cute. They're, they're dainty. It's taped on the back right there so no one could pick them off the card. But yeah, I got those. That's all I found in the store. And then let's just do this real quick. Oh, I didn't get all the tape off. Sorry, jammy time, guys. It's jammas. It's PJ time. And guess what? I have my coffee, too. Good morning, everyone. It was cool. Yesterday, I did my video, and I um, can't remember who it was. Timeless Jewels by Deborah. Something like that. 
was having coffee with me yesterday morning while I was doing my, or after I had posted my video. So, um, oh, I know what I could do. <laughs> Here we go. I'll use my new cloisonne tray. Why not? Because I don't know where there's another tray right now. Um, it's just going to be a quick... I'm going to try to get through this pretty fast here. So I'm just going to throw these things right back in there because... Um, yeah. Because I don't want them. That's got a whole lot of wear to it. I mean, these are cute, but they're way about to stretch out and break. So for $10, what did I get? Oh, these are actually very cute. A pair of earrings. Nice. Some plastic crafting pieces. They're actually like little clip-on earrings for little girls and they're plastic princess dress-up stuff. I'll actually give those to my aunt for my two little cousins. What else do we have in here? Oh my gosh. Why would you put that in there? Like as if this is some sort of junk. This is great. <laughs> these are fabulous. Look at these. It's, and it's made so well. Look at the back. Those are clip-ons. As I've said, my son's girlfriend, Cynthia, um, she can't have pierced ears. Um, her ears get too infected so quickly that she only wears clip-ons now. But um, these are great. She's really into some funky, cool stuff. So those are just little thingies. These are real pearls, um, and it looks like they're, oh, it's just oddly done. There's a couple of pieces that are attached with metal, and then there's stretch in between, but it's just, oh my gosh, what is this? Like, oh yeah, these are junk. No, they're not. They're signed, and they're vintage, and they say Japan, which, uh, yeah, that's cool. And they're, they're great. I love them. That's neat. Another pair. They've got a neat swirly design on them. Not signed. These are another pair of clip-ons that are clipped together. Not signed, but they're just, you know, thingies. Thingy majiggies. That's a little hair clip. Um, these actually kind of look like gold. I'm going to have to check into these a little bit further. There's a single earring. Oh my gosh. See, I love this. This is... These are very old. They're screw backs. And look. It's glass. Wow, look at the facets on that center stone there. Those are cool. Could be jet, I'm not sure. That's neat. This one looks like gold, totally. Don't you think? I'm gonna have to check that one too. It's got the right color. What are these? These are signed. Avon. They're just clip on little swirlies and there's a pair. Awesome. Um, that's cute. They're just little mittens. Um, it's like a scatter pin kind of on your sweater somewhere. 
Wow, he just like put all sorts of cool earrings in here. More just screwbacks, vintage. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's pretty neat. There's only one. Huh. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's just a little mushroom. It's a little tiny mushroom. I love it. That's going in my miniature collection. You know what I thought it was at first? I thought it was a cufflink. Like that was the front and that's the back. It almost looks like a very crudely done cufflink. But it's not. It's a little mini mushroom. It's so cute. I love it. That's awesome. I really like that. Um, it looks like we have a couple more odd singles. Uh, wow, another pair of clip-ons, and these look great, too. Nice construction on these. I like the way those are put together. Like, I would maybe want to check into those further. However, the backs here don't look that great. The fronts do. The fronts look, they look great. But uh, there was a little wear on the back, so I don't think those are any precious metal. Uh, these were cute, but I could see right here this flower is broken. So, um, yeah, those are going to go into some crafting. Oh, another pair. I thought that was crafting piece, too. These are just clip-ons, just cute little flowers. I'll give those to Cynthia. She might like those. And yet another pair. And who is this by? Avon. Another Avon pair. Another pair of clip-on Avons. Cute. This is a lot of stuff in here for $10. Another one of those earrings. Um, looks like there's another pair of earrings. One is broken. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? This is signed. It looks like alpaca. It is. Alpaca, Mexico. But it's super cute. He's adorable, in great shape, a newer piece. And it has a bale here, so it's either or. Bale or brooch. I mean, uh, pendant or brooch. He's really cute. Oh, ooh, that's so pretty. It's just a little, like, safety pin, bar pin thing. And it's just got these cute little AB rondelles on there. Ah. Oh. Here's the other earring. Oh, I gotta investigate these a little further. Hmm. I'm gonna say these are gold filled, but I will test them. But there is a pair. I don't know. Those are cute. Another sweet little pair of clip-on earrings. That's something Cynthia might like, too. Oh, another pair of clip-on earrings with the dangles. See, this stuff's not garbage. I don't, I don't understand the concepts behind that. Here's a cute pair of thermoset earrings, clip-ons. Not signed, but a pair. Um, this one's broken. I think I found his mate earlier and threw it in there. There's one of those. Oh no, there's the mate. This one's in good shape, but the other one was broken. These two, this one's missing the pearl. Another pair of clip-ons. Cute. They just need to be cleaned. What a great buy for 10 bucks. That's awesome. Those are super cute. They're little apples. I've been making a pile. I've been making a pile and I've been setting it aside over here for Thelma. Thelma Thrift. I just admire that woman. And she is the first YouTuber uh, that I ever came across as far as um, jewelry goes. So, yes, I've been saving her some cute little, what do you call those? Uh, oh, my goodness. <sighs> Best thing in the jar yet. Look at that. It's a dried flower. 
with the resin. It very much looks like amber, but it's not. It's just a resin. Oh, it's so sweet. And it's got the little flower in it. And I'll bet you that's silver because I actually have a ring I'm about to show you in my ring collection that is exactly the same material. So I'll just, I just threw that in there. Ah, <gasps> that's so cute. I don't know what it is, but it's just a little tiny angel riding a bicycle. <laughs> Look at her go. That's so cute. I love it. That's neat. That's staying with my stuff. Um, this very much looks like white gold or something. This looks like something here. I'm going to have to check that. And right here it says uh, 12 karat gold filled. Okay, close. I knew it had that. It had a look to it. Even though it's white, it just has a certain look to it. Um, not silver. You know, um, silver has a very distinct look. So does white gold. But that's interesting. I usually can spot yellow gold really easily. But yeah, I thought this right away was white gold. But interesting that it's 12 karat gold filled white gold. And I still was able to spot that. That's cool. Good eye. Good eye. Pat's always tell. he's very impressed that I, uh, that I find the things that I do. Even when he comes over and we're sorting through it, he'll step back and say, oh, I just want to watch. <laughs> because I know newer jewelry, he has no clue. He knows all the old stuff. And he, I've learned so much from that man about antique jewelry and um, vintage jewelry. And, and now I get to teach him because of the education I got from you guys, which is, which is really cool. And you guys, I mean, you know, all of you people out there that put out this sort of content. Texas Gal Treasures and Thelma Thrift and, oh gosh, the list goes on and on. Princess Casserole and Look at more clip-ons. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. You know, I went to one other thrift store yesterday and, oh, these are sweet. They're so old. Look at that. They're screwbacks, but it's like a clear plastic. And I don't think, I think these are just vintage women's earrings. I don't believe these were intended for little girls. Maybe, but they look the way they're put together and everything. I just think these are vintage ladies earrings. Really cute. Um, I'm suspecting that these are 14 karat gold. Yeah, if you run your finger across this thing here, your nail, you'll be able to feel, ah, right there. I can feel it. I can't see it with my naked eye, but I can feel it with my fingernail. And right there it says CH14K. So these are 14 karat. This one is missing the post. Uh, but that's 14 karat and uh, it appears to be lapis at the bottom there. That's pretty awesome. $10. I got all those great earrings so far. And a little pair of 14 karat gold broken earrings. But that's okay. Uh, hey, I'll take it. All that little scrap stuff adds up really quickly. Those are cute. Another pair. Sun's not quite up yet. Here comes the train. Oh, there was a pair of those. Cool. Another pair. Those don't look to be in the greatest of shape. Some more earrings. Oh, and I'll bet you Cynthia will like these too because they're bright, they're colorful, and they're just little clip-ons. It's all about the dangle in that pair. And I think she will enjoy those. Got a pair of post earrings. That one's cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wish the other one was here. Not seeing it. Yeah, 
It's sterling silver enamel hummingbird. Isn't that sweet? Just such a cute little piece of art. I love this. That's amazing. I love that. I wish I had the other. I'll have to go back and see him later this week and see if he has another um, another cute little pair of clip-ons. They're just tiny. A little single. That was a pair. Oh, he's cute. It's a pin and it's a zebra. I remember my friend Darla growing up had a pine cone like this. Um, yeah. And it was 14 karat gold. That one doesn't appear to be that looks like a sterling silver bead. Just a bead. Not much there. That's awfully cute. That's the other one, but it's missing the pearl in the center. Otherwise, I'd, and it, the whole back. Oh, I see. Does that, yeah, that comes out. It's just, that's an enhancer, so. Oh, and it's signed. Hmm. I better check that. S. It just says S. Oh, those are cute too. I'll give those to Cynthia too. They've got this neat little glow, like an AB finish on there that's probably not coming across on the camera. And the rest of this is just a little bit of nonsense. Anyways, that was my haul from there. I might have to do two videos. Geez, sorry guys. Let's bring this in now. So I, I've been going to this one store for a little bit. Um, these are Joan Rimmers and they wanted $8 a pair. And they've been in there for a very long time. So I finally hit them up yesterday. I haven't been in there in a while. I hit them up yesterday and I said, would you give me a deal if I took a whole bunch of your earrings that have been in there for like two months now? And I said, yeah, for sure. So, uh, Joan Rivers clip-ons, Joan Rivers clip-ons. I'm just going to show those really quickly. Um, Joan Rivers clip-on, Joan Rivers clip-on, Trafari clip-on. Aren't those nice? Those are Trafari these are Joan Rivers. I don't think that these were anybody, were they? They're not. I don't see a signature on those, but I liked them anyways. Um, they've got the great rhinestones on there. And then these. I got these because I found a necklace recently, and these go with the necklace. So those are beautiful. And are these signed? I can't remember. I don't see a name on there, but that doesn't mean that the other one might not be signed because they do that often. They just do one. I find it all the time where they just do one earring. Oh, I just broke it. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? I just broke it. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> I can fix it. I'll fix it. Gosh, darn it. Those were just super cute. And I don't think these were signed either. No. That was my haul video. I guess I'm going to end that haul video and then I'll do another video. Well, I'm just going to show you the rest of the haul because I did go to one other store. And then I'll share my rings um, on the next video, okay? I'll share these rings tomorrow, guys. I got these yesterday. These are cool. They're vintage frosted lucite. And they are cool. I really like the drop on these. The... They're just really nicely done. Frosted Lucite. Really pretty pair of earrings. Um, at a, another store, I got all of these awesome things. This is just a bale or a pendant for a necklace. It is amber and just inside it's marked Poland 925. So this is Baltic Amber. Very nice. Um, these were also there, and these are signed Espo. Oh, I looked them up last night and everything. Um, and 
Okay, S O Sig. Uh, I forget it's. I forget the full name. Anyways, those are really pretty amber earrings. Um, I got these at the same store. These are RLM Studios, Robert Lee Morris Studios, 925, and they're just a really nice drop curvature. You could wear them either way on the face. I think they would look great on a face this way. Um, those are really nice. RLM Studios, 925, and boom. Oops string off of there. They just cut the string and then so this is this is awesome. It needs to be cleaned as you can see. But again RLM Studios 925. So this is another Robert Lee Morris Studios piece. And that would be fabulous on a torque or a chain or just they're just great. That's what I got yesterday guys. Thank you all for watching. Sorry I didn't get to the rings, but I will um, show you a ring collection tomorrow. This is out of my personal jewelry box. Boom. See you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Peace out.